What's up guys? Let's um, look at some uh, setups. Uh, today we have a few good trend lines uh, and uh, levels which uh, I'm keeping an eye on for trading. So also be careful there are some high impact news coming today on the, the CAD, the Euro, the dollar and uh, so you want to check that, those out and don't just trade without uh, knowing about the news releases, the announcements. They're high impact and medium impact. One of them is for Euro is going to come out in a few minutes so careful with that. So first I want to look at the USD JPY. We can see here this level. Um, as you can see before it used to go up and drop down. So we can see that here, multiple drops. So we covered this in an earlier video. We were waiting for a drop actually here, which did happen. And here again, it did happen again. So we were waiting. So either you're going to get a drop and continuation, or you're going to get a break up here. And in which case, you CJP should be climbing towards this level. If this gets broken again, it's going to continue up towards the next uh, lower the previous lower high which is in this level so those are the levels you want to look at and you want to look to see if you get a breakout or not and uh, of course these two assets your usd and uh, usd are co correlated so you can see here you, your usd is making lower highs here you can see that here um, it got up dropped got up dropped and this time it didn't make it all the way um, so uh, I'm going to change this trend line as you can see the price fell below it but then managed to come back but still is not going up so uh, I think I'm going to remove that trend line for now and instead put a trend line here based on these two tops and uh, we can also see if we can get another trend line that intercepts this level which we can on the daily time frame we got the bounces here the retracement so this is the correct the more correct level to look at either we get a break and continuation or a continuation down which we can see here on the lower time frames we just uh, apply the simple rule with the trend line you can see if it gets broken and continues down so if your usd drops then it's more likely that we will see usd jpy break this level and continue up so as always you want to wait for some candle to close above the levels especially for long-term trades and uh, if we go to the Kiwi, the next one here, again we see a up going trend here. So either a breakdown or continuation up towards this level, which you can see is a resistance, either a break here or not. So you wanna so you wanna keep these levels and um, also look at the daily here. We can see the trends going up, breaking, continuing down. So it looks a little bit like your USD on the daily. You look at it. You got the sideways markets at retracement and now looking bearish. So it looks pretty similar. And um, the pound, uh, which we were short with the, um, towards this level, it did bounce. The bounce isn't as strong, but we can also see that we have another trend line here so it's holding for now i'm going to remove this one so what i'm waiting for is another decline here and then the continuation down towards this level once again of course first we have this level to breach the previous support so and then uh, down all the way here so we could be trading down unless we get a break up of course but um, we'll have to see so adjust your lines on the lower time frames as always we can see here we could have a better line uh, if we place it here maybe that could be the le next level but on the daily we have this line here we got one two three four five areas so as you can see this seems to be the current resistance i'm going to put my line here and we get either a break or continuation down and you can see the bulls aren't that strong not as strong as before you can see the bounces here were very strong in just a few days got up but price is contained here below this line so uh, it's not unlikely that it drops but as always like i said before keep an eye on the news as well because that could change things 
uh, the direction of the price and wait for a candle to close depending on which time frame you're trading and if you would like to know more uh, feel free to uh, read the description on how to join our skype group thanks for watching don't forget to like the video